we're going to demonstrate how to create a firewall rule using the G Cloud command line. There's three different ways to create firewall rules in Google Cloud, generally speaking. The console, G Cloud, and infrastructure as code like Terraform. Technically, you can also call the API directly. That's what these three interfaces are actually doing. We're going to use G Cloud in this demonstration. We have a Bastion host here, essentially a jump server. We want to be able to SSH to it, but we're following all security best practices. So we certainly are not going to give any of our IaaS machines an external IP address on the internet. They do have an internal IP address. The Bastion host is at 10.0.0.5. There's also a utility server as well. We're going to focus on creating a firewall rule to let us use Google's identity aware proxy to proxy our SSH connection from the internet through the identity aware proxy servers to the Bastion host internal IP address. In the identity aware proxy documentation, it'll tell you that the IP address for the identity aware proxy servers is some 35 dot address here, 35.235.240 slash 20. So we need to allow connectivity from this range to our host. Again, in following all best practices, we're going to make the rule specific. We're not going to allow uh, access to just any host in our project. It's going to be to just the jump server. That being said, Google does have a nice documentation here that gets us a great start. So we're going to copy their G Cloud script here that creates a rule in general, and then we'll just improve upon that. So one thing we need to know in order to create the rule is we're going to need to know the project. We're going to need to know the network that we're going to create the rule in. We can get the project by listing our projects. So if we do G Cloud and projects list, we'll get a list of the projects that we have. This little demo of project here has got this project ID. We also need to know the networks that we have. Uh, if we do G Cloud, and do compute network. So we'll do compute first and then network list. And looks like we have to have an S on the end of that. So we'll do networks list. All right, and there's the name of our network, utility-vpc. Okay, so we have the information we need to create the rule along with the start that Google gave us. At any point, if you want to see the help, you don't have to exit out of the script that you're in. You can just add dash dash help onto the end, and it'll automatically just dump the help out. Now, we noted we wanted to specifically create the rule to target just the Bastion host. We don't want to open up the utility server as well. Now, we could create the rule for this internal IP address, 10.0.0.5, but that's a bad practice in the cloud. Effectively, that means that if the IP address of the Bastion host ever changed, we would have to go change the rule as well. We want to have rules that are resilient, flexible. So we're going to add a tag to the Bastion host, which I've already done. If we go down to network tags right here, we can see I uh, added a tag called Bastion host. Also added another tag called IaaS host. We can target these tags instead of targeting the IP address. That way, if the IP of this network interface ever changes to something else, no big deal. The firewall will automatically adjust. It'll get the new IP behind the scenes and everything will continue to work. Okay, with that in mind, we notice that we need dash dash target tags in order to use that tag. So now we're going to add target tags. Notice that the G Cloud has tab complete, so I don't have to type out target tags all the way. I can just type out target dash T and then hit tab and it'll automatically fill out the rest. We noticed that with the tag we can use is either Bastion host or IS host. I want to use Bastion host because I used IS host tags on other co computers and I don't want those being uh, targeted by this rule. So we want this rule to be specific to this particular jump server. Another thing that is left out of the Google example is logging. So anytime we're doing an SSH connection, we're going to, want to make sure we have logging. To do that, we just use the flag enable logging. That'll turn logging on for this firewall rule. Any connections that are allowed or denied will show up in the logs. And certainly for a rule that's going to allow SSH, 
command and control into a system, we definitely want to have the logs turned on. Otherwise, we have the components we need. We gave uh, the rule a name. We specified which direction, inbound or outbound. The way we do that is with the keywords ingress or egress. And we're using ingress because we want an inbound rule from the IAP servers. We're going to allow these packets. The other option would be deny. SSH runs on TCP 22. That's why the rule is using TCP 22. We already explained that the source is Google's identity where proxy servers and that the target was the Bastion host specifically and that we wanted logging to be enabled. Now we just need to specify the network and the project. The project is already set in the configuration for G Cloud, but if you needed to set the project explicitly, uh, you can do that. Also, the network is dash dash network we see here, and we already showed how to get the name of the network. It was Matilda VPC. So we're going to say network equals, and then we'll do Matilda VPC. We hit enter and we wait for G Cloud to carry out the firewall rule. Once it gets done creating the rule, we'll go test it. Now at any point, if you wanted to list what the rules were, you can do G Cloud and compute firewall rules and then list. And we'll just see the rule that we already created there. And then it also, um, we can test our rule. So I've already got a, a account set up for this project for me to use to log into the Bastion host. So we're going to use this command here, gcloud compute SSH. We're going to tunnel through identity where proxy. And otherwise, this is just a normal SSH command. I'm passing in my SSH key, my username, and the computer that I want to connect to. So let's see if this connection works. And there we are. We have been able to log into the Bastion host. We can check its name and see what account we're logged in with just to confirm that we're on the host. And when we're done, we can exit out. So there we've demonstrated how to create a firewall rule in TCP using the G Cloud interface. Specifically, we happen to have created a rule for identity where proxy so we see how that is done as well.